Were you ever curious to find out what happens if you terminate a vault node inside of a raft vault cluster running in AWS with an auto scaling group with a load balancer in front of it and uh, see what happens if you're writing and reading uh, data into vault? Well, in this video, I'm going to test that out and show you the results. Now, this video is part of my Vault 202 for Operators course. And if you're interested in this course, I'll put a link to it in the description of this video. Now, enjoy. Now, let's have some fun and test the cluster's high availability by terminating some nodes. Let's get started. All right, so we are going to go back to our uh, to our terminal here and what I want to show you is um, if I go to my load balancer targets and I can see uh, one is healthy and two are unhealthy and uh, the reason for this is that the healthy node will respond with status code 200 and meaning that it is the active node the the two that show unhealthy are responding with status codes 429 and that's intentional vault does that to show that this is actually a standby node and this way the load balancer only sends traffic to the healthy node the active node and doesn't send to the follower nodes and uh, in oss this is this is actually desired because uh, if you send traffic to the standby or follower nodes they're going to proxy the traffic over to the healthy node anyway uh, so you don't get any performance um, improvement in that regard. So you want the load balancer to always send traffic to the healthy node. And we'll see why that's important here when we start to uh, terminate one of the follower nodes. Uh, we'll see that there, there's really no issue. The load balancer is already sending it here. If we were to get the load balancer to load balance across all three nodes, we can override this unhealthy status code from 429 to 200. And, uh, and get the load balancer to load balance across all three nodes. But then if one of the follower nodes fails, uh, the load balancer, uh, if you're unlucky enough that you sent your request to this node that is being load balanced uh, and it failed, then you're gonna get some failures. So let's go ahead and, and test this out. What I have set up for us here is um, I've got my, uh, let me stop this and I'll show you what I did. Um, so, in one, in one window here, I ran, let me stop this as well. In one window here, I'm running a watch command for the vault operator raft list peers. So I get to know which one is the leader and which ones are follower nodes, as you can see. And in this window, what I'll do is I'm going to run a loop. And this loop executes every one second. So it sleeps for one second. So I know that I'm sending... Uh, a put request or a, a put secret to the KV store every one second and also doing a read. I'm getting back the data that I just wrote to the KV store. So as you can see, I'm writing data to KV1 secret here and then I get, uh, and I'm writing the ID equals to I plus, uh, I plus 10. So if I'm writing to the first one, I'm getting ID of 11. Second is 12, three, third is 13 and so on. And this keeps going on and on and on every one second I'm writing and reading from Vault so that when I start to terminate one of the follower nodes and then I'll, sh I'll show you how to terminate one of the leader nodes, we can uh, get a sense of what's happening uh, if our Vault cluster is responding or not. Okay, so now this is going on. I'm going to terminate this I08A, which is a follower node first, and then see what happens. Okay, so let's go to our... Um, console here let's refresh this uh, let's look for i08a which is this one so i'm going to terminate this one let's terminate refresh it's gone uh, let's take a look at our um, targets here uh, while this runs the health checks the timeouts that we have here is five seconds so it's going to take five seconds for the load balancer to discover that this uh, node has failed so if we give it five seconds that should be enough for it to there we go request timed out okay so this 
uh, I08A node now is timed out. It's already unhealthy. So basically because it was running 429, status code 429, it was already considered unhealthy by the load balancer. So it's not sending it any traffic. If I refresh now, it should take it out of the target group here. And in the meantime, uh, we should expect no changes to my client talking to Vault. So you can see here, uh, no blips at all. I'm able to re write and read traffic. The follower node dies, no problem, because uh, the load balancer is sending all traffic to the active node, which is still alive. Uh, here, the 08A is still uh, in place. You can see that Vault uh, sees it there still as a follower. Once the auto scaling group uh, generates a new Vault node and automatically gets added to our cluster, Vault is going to remove uh, the autopilot cleanup is going to remove this follower node from the cluster. So we'll see that in just a few seconds. Let's go back and take a look and see if the auto scaling group kicked in. It has. You can see a new, no, new node now is created. A new EC2 instance I068 is being initialized. So we'll wait for that. In the meantime, um, in the meantime, our traffic is still working no problem. Vault is responsive. Everything is running fine. Uh, if you notice, keep looking at this screen. In a few seconds, what we'll see is a new uh, a new node is going to get added. It's going to be a follower node, and the old one uh, soon after is going to get removed. Okay, and uh, we'll wait for that. Um, I won't stop the video so you get a sense of how fast this is going. And uh, while we're waiting, as I mentioned before, the next step is for us to test what happens when we uh, terminate the leader node. And what you're going to see, and you, you would expect this, is that we will have an interruption uh, for the traffic because the, um, the leader node is the only active node that the load balancer sees, right? So until Vault uh, re-elects a new leader and then that new leader starts to respond back with a status code of 200, uh, the, the load balancer as basically sees that all its servers in the target group are hosed and it will it will fail. So, but the failure is very very short. You'll see it's about it's under five seconds, and uh, that failure under five seconds you can also tweak it a little bit in the load balancer um, load balancer's configuration. So we can we can do that. Okay, so I think we're still we're still waiting here for our. Uh, new node to get initialized. Let's keep uh, let's keep waiting for a bit. One thing while we're waiting to note is um, again we're we're working here with Vault open source, right? And when uh, when we start working with Vault uh, Enterprise, we might want to tweak a little bit the the um, the status codes for the standby nodes if you're looking for a performance standby node that needs to uh, that will receive traffic that will respond back to the client uh, for any read requests without having to proxy um, the traffic to the active node all right so for open source the recommendation is to leave the uh, health checks as is and the default status codes that come back from vault are appropriate the load balancer will uh, will be fine with those okay there we go. You can see now there's a new node that got added and the voter is false. If we wait a little bit, this is going to turn to true and this guy is going to disappear. So let's give it another few seconds and there we go. It's done. So now we have uh, the leader is still the same, a new follower node and our original other follower node is still there. Now the next step, as I mentioned, let's go ahead and terminate the leader I0942 and see what happens. All right, let's refresh this. I0942 is this one. And terminate, terminate, refresh, it's gone. Take a look at our load balancer. Our load balancer uh, still sees the 942 as healthy. So give it a few seconds here until it times out. It's draining, target destination is in progress. You can see here. And while that's happening, 
let's take a look at our um, our vault. You see what happened there? It's been it was failing at ID three two six. It starts it started to fail, and it came back ID three three two. So that's uh, that's what six seconds, uh, about six seconds. We we missed. Uh, 27, 28, 29, 30, and 31. Five seconds, basically. We missed five seconds um, right here as the leader node got uh, uh, got moved to become follower, as you can see here. And now a new leader got elected, the I0D512. So now this is our new leader. And right away, if we look at the health check and refresh this, you see our I0D512 is now the healthy node. And uh, and the other ones uh, have failed. So or the one the leader the old leader has failed. And now we're waiting for the auto scaling group to uh, to create another node for us. And it is it's initializing one right now. So once again we can wait a little bit for this one to get initialized. And uh, and that and then Vault will of course add it to our uh, Vault cluster. And we can wait on that. As well that will take a little bit of time like we saw last time but as we can see our traffic is back up and running it took around five seconds uh, we did lose the data between ID 326 and 332 so again it's running every one second so we lost about five seconds uh, when the active node um, went down and this five seconds basically if you go back to the health checks and you look at the advanced health check settings here. Um, this this is actually tied into um, the timeout here. We've got a five second timeout, I believe. This is probably what happened. So the load balancer um, waits five seconds until it determines that this is a failed health check. Since we terminated the node, the node is not responding to the health checks. So at that point, after five seconds, uh, it decided that, okay, this node now is not healthy anymore. And by that time, the election happened and the new, uh, the new leader started to send back the 200 status code. And at that point, the load balancer saw that and saw the new healthy node and started to move the traffic to the healthy node. And that's what uh, ultimately happened. Um, okay, so uh, let's see if we got the new node in here while I was talking here. I didn't pay attention. So this one that's initializing is the 67067. Let's see if it appeared. Uh, 067. Uh, yeah, so it's it looks like it's been already added. Uh, let's just double check again. 067 is the new one. FE, 067 FE. Yeah, so while we were chatting away here, once again, everything is back and uh, we're back in our good state where we have our leader and we've got our two followers and our client is also reading and writing data. No problem. As we saw before, it just got hosed here when the active node um, failed. So that's it. Uh, I hope this has been informative and you saw how uh, we can uh, how, how the high availability works here with the raft cluster with vault. I will see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video as part of the vault 202 for operators course. And once again, you'll find a link in the description to this course.